Hi, and I'd like to welcome you back to Poem Praise 2, and uh, certainly if this is your first time tuning in, i certainly like to welcome you uh, to uh, Poem Praise 2 channel. Uh, right now we are reading How to Eat to Live. Uh, it's certainly by the Elijah, Elijah Muhammad. Messenger of Allah to whom all praise is due forever. And the next chapter I have for you is called The Death Way. And it goes like this. Under the system of this world, the baby is born wrestling with life and death. And death wins this struggle and throws the majority of us into our eternal graves before we reach the age of 50. And the remainder before we reach the short age of 100 years, when we should live 500 to 1,000 years. And the week is one should live at least a hundred years. Why is our span of life so short? Hmm. Because we try to follow and practice the way of the wicked whose span of life was limited in the beginning of their time of 6,000 years. And due to their lack of the essence of righteousness and of eternal life, they care not for a long span of life. Mm -hmm. What we were and what we are given to eat and drink has shortened our life. The way we live, that short term of life from 12 to 30 years, is but a fleeting moment of the time we should live. The earth is an old, old earth. And the life that is in it is our life also. It produces us and it takes us back. As dead material to fertilize the life germ that is yet to be made into man. We should live longer than we have. Mm -hmm. As long as we see where we came from. And that the material that made up our bodies is still alive. But what has happened to us? Huh? We were fed with death at the very beginning. The wrong food and drink. Given to us when we were babies by our wicked enemies. Until today, we think that it is a mistake to contemplate living a hundred or more years. Not to think of a thousand year. We think that is impossible. Hmm. <laughs> But it is no more impossible for us today to live 800 or 900 years than it was for Methuselah, who lived 969 years each year, carrying 12 months like the ones we have today. Mm-hmm. Now, the Holy Quran teaches us that a year with Allah has always been 
12 months. And the civilizations of earth must count their years according to the time it takes the earth to rotate around the sun and get itself into position. That the astronomers teach us will give us a more correct way of counting the time. We and our sons and daughters are fed on poisonous food, milk, and water from the start of life. This way of eating like the beast soon rob us of life. And we go away within a few years. The baby eats poisonous animals, fowls and vegetables and drinks, milk that is not his milk. It belongs to the cow's baby, goat's baby, and horse's baby. Here the child is reared on animals and cattle. Food. That is why we have such a great percentage of the delinquency. Delinquency. Mm -hmm. Among minors. The child is not fed from the mother's breast. She is too proud of her form. My, my, my. <laughs> Therefore, she lets the cow and other animals nurse her newborn baby. And the baby cannot have too much love for its mother. It loves the bottle that its food is in. Food that his mother robbed from the cow's baby to feed her own baby. When the baby reaches the age of 10, and if it is a male, most of them begin to indulge in drinking alcoholic beverages and using tobacco in one form or another alcohol, and tobacco, with their poisonous effect upon the male, cut his life down as far as his reproductive organs are concerned. He is unable to produce his own kind. And nowadays, with dope added to all of the above-mentioned poisonous food and drinks, we can easily say with truth that the people are committing suicide. In a few days, years, they lose sexual desires. Tobacco and whiskey will most certainly destroy it. The flesh a swine, and alcoholic drinks will give a false impression of feeling to the victim. That you are strong and able to finish the course. But you can't depend on it. Soon, one finds himself needing strength again and again. Not to think of how venereal diseases destroy those who indulge in the extremes of life. Let us eat to live as Allah 
God has taught me. Now, that does complete this chapter of the death way. Now for us, let us eat to live. I'll give you a preview of the next chapter coming up. It's going to be, do not take birth control pills. Okay? Now to all, all my kings and queens, my gods and goddesses, especially my queens and goddesses. Because the birth control pills, we're talking about the pills. We're about to get ready to go into that with the next chapter. But uh, certainly, certainly can't wait to go on that um, with the females. Because j- just the word alone, birth control pills. Controlling something, controlling the better. You could just break the word down. But shouldn't us as queens have self-control? Control your body? Hmm. Control what you allow to go in. And we're talking about the food and eating. Now we're going to start breaking into some of the medicines that are going in. Is that really going to eat to live? Almost, almost thinking of like Medea. Clink, clink. Can you put a clink, clink on it? Lock it up. Lock it up with a key. Who got the key to unlock it? For real? Okay. I almost went to a whole nother level with that one. But uh, I'll, ju- I'll just keep it in wrap and save it for the next chapter. That's going to be the, the next uh, thing we're going to be talking about here on Poem Praise too. So I certainly have a, a wonderful rest of the evening. Peace be upon you and also upon your family too. And I'll be hollering at you soon here on Poem Praise too. All right. Later, y'all. I'll holler.